Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean no disrespect, but thoughts of you rule my world. I even dream of you, I swear. Visions of you and I. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another video. If it's your first time coming over to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Deanna Marguerite. I hope you will love what you see. You hit that bell and you hit that subscribe button as well. It's free, it don't cost you nothing. If you are an OG of my channel, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. I appreciate you so much. So I'm here with a Soul Sunday video. Um, you guys have been loving my Soul Sunday videos. You guys have been giving um, really good advice on top of what I've been given. Um, and that's been really appreciated from the people that email me. So definitely continue to comment, continue to put in your two cents, all of that good stuff because I don't always have all of the answers so if you have been through some of this stuff or um, you just have your two cents to put in definitely comment down below all right so this one um, I read it previously and this is a one that I don't want to get too riled up about because um, a lot of people could have way different opinions on it um, but I would love to have the discussion down in the uh, comment section for sure so it says, uh, Dear Deanna, I've been a subscriber of yours a couple of years now and I love your honesty and realness. I'm hoping you can give me some advice uh, because I'm completely lost. I just turned 20 in April and I'm a junior in college, but I, it looks like I might have to drop out. I met a guy at a friend's cookout a couple, a couple months ago and we really hit it off. He is pretty much everything I look for. He's in college as well, no kids, and extremely attractive. We exchanged numbers at the cookout and talked and texted every day after that. Things got pretty heavy quickly, quicker than any other relationship I've been in. I recently found out I was pregnant. Um, when I found out, I was so scared to tell... Um, I'm going to change his name to Lance. Um... I was so scared to tell Lance, but I felt like I had to. I called him, and when I told him, he was silent. So I, so I said, "You d you don't have nothing to say." And then he asked me if I was gonna keep it. I was initially hurt, but he went on to explain that both of us are still in school, and he knew neither one of us was ready to be parents. I felt bad because I agreed with him, but on the other hand, I was hurt that he could just say get an abortion. He even went on to say he would pay for it. I told him okay and he cashed at me the money to get the abortion. Now I'm having second thoughts because I just never see myself having to get an abortion. Do you think I should keep my baby or go through with the abortion? Jo mm. Uh, what did I say Lance keeps texting me asking when my appointment is and just getting on my damn nerves it's hurtful because I really thought we we was better than this any advice you could give will be appreciated because right now I'm so confused thanks and I'm gonna call her Lisa so Lisa is pregnant by Lance that she met a couple months ago at a cookout First of all, Lisa, I'm not going to judge you. First of all, because look at the situation that I'm in. Um, I've been very uh, forthcoming with all of you guys, my subscribers, pretty much the YT period, um, about my situation and what I'm going through. Um, now, I had known my child's father a lot longer than a couple months, but we had stopped talking and then because I had recently got out of a really toxic relationship and he kind of so quote unquote rescued me out of that type of situation and made me feel I was pretty much very vulnerable during that time and when I met back up with her father and uh we ended up you know doing the do obviously and making my baby so um but we had only been back rekindling things for a, only a couple weeks so it was like girl wake up how silly can you be and i'm a lot older than you so i should have had more sense 
But let me tell you one thing. I cannot give you the advice that you might be looking for, Lisa, because I can never tell somebody whether to, I wouldn't feel right in my spirit to tell somebody else if they should get an abortion or not get an abortion. I am not neither for or against abortion. I've never been in a situation where I felt like I needed to get an abortion, so I'm not the type to judge another person because they feel the need to get an abortion. Um, only because... Um, like I said, I've never been raped. I've never, um, you know, thank God I've never been raped. I've never been in that type of situation, like I said, to feel the need to get an abortion. But, um, yeah, I know there's some people and there's probably some people watching that will, that are very adamant about pro-life and you should never get an abortion. You, you just can't do that. You knew what you was doing when you laid down type of situation so what i will tell you is you need to pray about this you need to um weigh out all of your options um meaning um if you were to continue to on with your pregnancy what you could do if you don't want to keep your child there's um adoption um, so there's a lot of people out there who are unable to have children who would love to welcome your child into their home and adopt them. So if you really feel that you are not ready and Lance is not ready to be a father, um, then yeah, you might want to seek think about adoption especially if um abortion is something that you do or you know are going back and forth about i feel like personally if you are indifferent about any situation is or um any um decision like this if you're indifferent about it that much i feel like <sighs> i don't know I just feel like if you're that indifferent about it, you should definitely not do it. And like I said, I just said that I didn't want to give you that advice. But at the end of the day, um, if you're not 100% adamant about something, I feel like you should never go through with it. Just give it some more thought. Definitely. I don't know if I would have took the money from Lance as far as... Because, you know, these niggas out here are quick to give a female the money for an abortion but it was it's, it was so much cheaper for you to go out and get a box of condoms like you would rather pay for an abortion than go and get you a box of condoms because it feels better when you don't use a condom get like that type of stuff really irks me really irks me and then they they want to put all of the we have to carry the emotional baggage of having to get an abortion and sometimes the physical baggage of having to get an abortion because it's not all peachy you know you might have a lot of um, side effects that comes along with abortions so you just never know definitely do your research lisa for sure on how you will feel mentally and physically after a an abortion um some people definitely never get over that guilt some people um you know feel like it's there is it's the right decision so like i said do your own uh research and think about this um do i think lance is for you you didn't ask me but i'm giving you this advice anyway i don't think that lance is for you um now there might be people that disagree with me um because i guess he was nice enough to give you the money for the abortion but oh lord but let me tell you something He's that quick to just be like, you can have an abortion? Like, nah. And that was the first thing he said, not, oh man, um, I don't know what he could have said, but are you going to keep it? Like, can you be a little bit more sensitive to the situation? You don't know what I'm thinking, what I'm going through. Being pregnant right now, uh, you know, he could have asked how you felt, like something. Uh, but I'm not all, go all going to put it all on him either because at the end of the day, we as women have 
the ultimate authority to be like you know what i'm keeping my legs closed or if i don't feel like keeping my legs closed you're gonna wear a condom because i could get pregnant i'm 20 years old i'm very much fertile probably unless you have something else going on you're very much fertile at 20 years old so you very well much likely could get pregnant you know what i'm saying you could get pregnant so you have to either a be on birth control be use a condom or just remain abstinent so at the end of the day if you don't want to remain abstinent which is a very hard thing to do once you have already you know got a little bit of that d you know what i'm saying um so and i'm just being real and i'm being straight up so at the end of the day once you've already dippled and dabbled in the in the sex world it's really hard for you to just be like you know what i'm not doing it no more so if you do want to continue dipping and dabbing and doing your thing, definitely protect yourself and protect um, the other person as well. I just feel like everybody has to play their part. So no, I don't think you should have accepted the money at all for the abortion. And if you don't go through with the abortion, please return the money because females like that will get the particular name as well and I'm not going to say the name <laughs> but I do know of females who have accepted money for abortions and then came back nine months later like hey here's your baby no you can't expect him and this is something that my girl uh Rashika Bianca was kind of talking about on her um snapchat story and it was so funny because I literally had just read this email and she was talking about something like this kind of situation on her snapchat like how can you there's a real double standard when it comes to females um telling men like you know you you're a deadbeat or whatever if you don't take care of your kid but off rip that guy said i wasn't ready for a kid but on the other hand i just feel like everybody needs to um take responsibility for what's going on if you lay with a female men out there i don't know if anybody any males are watching if you lay with a female and you are not protecting yourself not only are you exposing yourself to all types of you know um sexually transmitted diseases but you're all you're just asking for a child as well because not only are is she extremely fertile but you probably have hundreds of millions of little spermies that are young and and swimming straight up to her egg and they could it could fertilize okay so at the end of the day both parties are just as uh are just as responsible for what happens um after you lay down period so at the end of the day um you be, you be i know how it is like I said, you be in the heat of the moment, you do something, and then, oh, a few weeks later, you find out you're pregnant. Like, it's it's very difficult um, to, and you didn't tell me if this was a one-time thing or if this is something that y'all just continuously screwing. Like, it, that's not my business. But what I'm saying is, take the time to... Think about all your options, Lisa. Definitely think about all your options. Think about adoption. Think about if you really want to get this abortion. And if you do go through with the abortion, make sure that you get yourself some help afterwards. Meaning, go to your OBGYN. Get yourself checked out. Make sure that you don't have any uh, STDs. Make sure that you don't have... Um, or make sure that you get on some type of contraception, type of birth control or something like that. Because if you're going to continue to have sex with Lance or anyone else, you need to be protected so you don't have to use abortion as your birth control. Because I know a lot of females who do that as well. And those type of females have a particular name as well that I won't mention. But at the end of the day, that's not okay. Because you're putting your body through unnecessary strain and unnecessary... Um, uh, just 
a lot of mess that you could have avoided if you just took some birth control and a lot of people are just anti birth control either because you're injecting yourself with a lot of different hormones and things like that you can get on this uh, birth control called low estrin for me personally I have the uh, next one on in my arm to where I'm not going to get pregnant within the next three years like I have a baby and I'm not willing to have another one until you know I meet the, the actual right man and he um, makes that commitment to me as for marriage. You know what I'm saying? So that's my commitment to myself. So sometimes we just have to make a commitment within ourselves and know that we are worth more than just somebody being like, oh, I'll pay for your abortion. No, you deserve more than that. You deserve for somebody, to, for you to tell somebody that you're pregnant and they be happy about it and they be and you both feel like you're ready for a child. Um, sometimes, you know, life is so crazy. I feel like most people are never ready for kids, for real. Um, but, you know, there's some people out there that feel like they are. But at the end of the day, most babies are surprises. And they're just like, oh, gee, I really didn't think that I was going to get pregnant. Or I didn't, this wasn't planned. So, yeah, anyway, um... Give your advice to Lisa. Um, let her know what you think she should do. Um, I don't want the comment section to be kind of like a battle of uh, pro-abortion, pro-life, or whatever. Um, just give her advice on what you think she should do in her situation. Um, it's really, it's a really sad situation because I just hate when females feel like they had to take on the whole burden of that and all he has to do is pay you money to get an abortion so yeah but I do think Lisa if you don't go through with the abortion return the money to Lance and let him know I'm going through with this um having this baby whether I keep it or I give it up for adoption you are the father and you have a say so on what you think I should do um and some people have a disagree about that too so um but I do think the male has a, a say so on um if he feels like you should put it up for adoption or not the child up for adoption but yeah anywho um yeah that's the best advice I can give like I said I've never been in this type of situation where I felt like I needed to have an abortion I'm so sorry Lisa that you're in this situation but all you can do is learn from it and move forward and make sure that the there is no next time when it comes to abortion. Just make sure that you are um, either remaining celibate, you know what I'm saying, and or you are just um, being extremely safe, making him wear a condom and also you being on birth control. So yeah. Um, that's all I have to say and I will see you queens in my next video. Make sure you give your advice down below in the comment section. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video. Deuces.